Good morning, everybody. Wow, my hair looks really great. It is Friday. I have the day off today. I usually don't have Fridays off. I usually work Fridays, but I switched with a coworker, so I worked yesterday instead of today because I hate opening. It's not good for my mental health. I just, whatever. So, <clears throat> um, I am working on my shopping list because I need to go grocery shopping today. I also need to go do laundry. And then, um, might go to TJ Maxx because I have a gift card, so we'll see. Um, and then I still need to work out, shower. The workout in the shower, I think, is going to happen before I go do laundry. But, um, yeah. So, um, I am just wanting to vlog because, I don't know, just had the thought this morning, like, hmm, I think I'll turn on the vlog camera today. So, oh my god, by the way, so I have a pregnant friend, she's due in March. And she had a maternity pillow that she didn't like, so she gave it to me. It's like one of those giant pillows that, like, hugs you. I love it. It is life-changing. It's so great because I sleep on my side, so I can have, like, one of the arms in between my legs. So that way my knees don't rub against each other. Because that's one thing I hate about sleeping on my side. But it's wonderful. So, yeah, not a whole lot going on today. And then tomorrow, I am going on a date pretty nervous about it um so yeah I'm really nervous but anyways um I'm gonna try not to think about it a lot today because if I think about it I will get too anxious about it so um I am just going through the weekly ad at Hannaford so I can make my list and then I'm going to fill out my water bottle do a workout take a shower grab my laundry, go do the laundry, maybe while the laundry's going I'll go to TJ Maxx because it's in like the same building, and then go to Hannaford, go to the post office because my new Fitbit bands should have came, which is awesome because my Fitbit bands um, give me hives, and then come home, my house desperately needs to be cleaned, and then I go into work tomorrow and I work 8 to 3, then I have to come home do my hair and makeup, put on a cute outfit, and then go to my date. So a lot going on this today on this day off, and here I am, it's 8 in the morning, and I'm just laying in bed, I haven't even worked out yet, and the work that I plan on doing is like an hour long one, because you guys, I am so nervous because I feel like I've been slacking this past week with like eating healthy and working out, like I've been working out almost every day. But in order to hit my five day goal, because last night I was going to work out, but me and my friend decided that we needed to go out to dinner and plan our friend's baby shower because it is literally one month from yesterday, like today's the 25th, her baby shower is February 24th and we had nothing planned. So also today I want to go on Pinterest and start writing stuff down because uh, her baby shower is going to be Winnie the Pooh themed. So it's just like, uh, stress. I have a lot going on this next two months. Like, literally, so next week is like the beginning of February towards the end. That is going to be my last Sunday that I work for like three weeks. And my coworker who's pregnant, she's actually the one that does our schedules. And she had told me that like, the kitchen manager and the owner might have a problem with me having three Sundays off. So I like literally went to the kitchen manager yesterday and said, I need to explain to you why I need 30 Sundays off because one of the Sundays I'm taking off is because it's my sister's birthday. The next week is my mom's birthday. And then the week after that is the baby shower. And I'm not working the day of the baby shower because the baby shower is at our place of work after we're closed so I need to be able to be there to decorate and help out and I'm making I'm in charge of the cake so it is now 11 I just got out of the laundromat and I went to TJ Maxx I only spent $25 so your girl's doing pretty good today all I bought was I'll show you when I get home but all I bought was a new sink drainer thing for my dishes and I don't know, it's just some little random things. They didn't really have anything I wanted, but they did have a lot of stuff on clearance. But now I really need to go to Hannaford. I really don't want to go grocery shopping. But I know I need to, so I need to just go. And then I just have to go to the post office, maybe. I might just decide. It's just my Fitbit bands, so I might just 
wait and get them in the morning before work because I just really want to go home. But if I don't go grocery shopping now, I know I'm not going to get it done. I also thought about going home, putting away my laundry, eating something, and then going to Hannaford. But I just... Oh... I hate that I save all my errands for one day, but then it's also like, why do I want to leave the house for one thing or the other? So, I know I need to just go, and yeah, so, not really sure if I'm still doing my date tomorrow. The person I'm going on a date with told me their grandmother is not doing well, so they might have to go to their hometown to see her, which is totally fine. Um, I'm a little bit bummed. I will be very bummed out if we don't do it. I've been talking to this person for a long time now, so, um, yeah, but family comes first, so I'm trying to keep my hopes up, and yeah, so I'm going to go to Hannaford. I really have to pee. I wish I had peed before I left the laundromat, but the laundromat, there was someone in front of me that was creeping me the fuck out, so I needed to get out of there, basically. I only, like, half folded my laundry, and I was like, I'm doing the rest of them. I don't want to be here because the guy was just like weird like he was just like practically laying on the table in front of me like the tables are like you know this is my table this is their table and I just wanted to be like I'm trying to fold my underwear can you back the fuck up and then like I don't know I just kept feeling like he kept like glancing at me and I was just like and I'm going so that's just my day but yeah I also am really hungry, so I know if I go to Hannaford now, I can get something from the salad bar, because otherwise my choices would be unhealthy. I don't really have a lot to eat at home either, because I ran out of lunch meat, because I was eating ham wraps like it was going out of style. Um, I'm home now, and you guys, I went to Hannaford, went to the self-checkout. Filled up my freezer bag full of groceries and just left it on the self-checkout. I brought out my other bags and I was putting it and I was like, ugh. I went back inside and they had it for me, but I was just like, are you stupid? What's wrong with you? I think I'm just tired and stuff today. My mind's not here. So I'm going to try to do a grocery haul right now. Um, then I need to put away the groceries, eat lunch. I'm fucking starving. And then I left my laundry in the car for now because I want to eat first. So first bag... Um, I thought these were interesting. These are Jimmy Dean Delights Egg Witch, the breadless breakfast. It says broccoli and cheese egg frittatas with chicken sausage and cheese. So I figured I would give that a try. I'm running out of my silk almond creamer. I really like the sweet and creamy one, so I bought another one. These were two for three dollars. So I thought these would be good like before or after a workout. So there you go. The Hannaford brand has like their version of those Chobani flips, so I got three of them. They have chocolate hazelnuts, uh, almond coconut, and then my phone ran out of memory, so I had to import the footage, but I got a salted caramel one as well. And then I got the Ready Whip, the, the non-dairy whipped cream. This one is the coconut milk. I tried the almond milk one, and I don't know if I really liked it, so I'm going to try the coconut milk one. I got a lot of produce and a lot of meat. That's why, like, my Hannaford trip this time was, like, $130. It was expensive. But I had to buy a lot of meat because my freezer is empty right now. Um, I got two onions, three red bell peppers, two lemons. I had a coupon for a dollar off, too, so there you go. Uh... I've heard really good things about this garlic stirring paste, so I thought I would try it. This would be a lot easier than buying cloves of garlic. I bought these again because they're just cheaper than buying a bag of them. This is only $1.69, so I figured I would get those again. Cauliflower was on sale. I've been making my own cauliflower rice, and it's been working pretty well. Round three. Got a bag of shishito peppers because you guys know I love those. Bag of gala apples. Love me some apples. These blueberries were only $2.99 for this giant package, so I figured I could like put them in yogurt or um, oatmeal or something. I don't know, just something. Uh, mushrooms. 
I bought more of these tomorrow. Uh, let's get the sandwich low in carb, 60 calorie wraps. This time I got the nine grain with chia seeds. I bought one leek because I want to make like a chicken and quinoa soup. I got this poultry blend because I bought a whole chicken and I had a dollar off coupon for these so I thought I could put it in the chicken. Um, little bag of baby red potatoes. I had a dollar off coupon for one of these um, Giovanni Rana the mozzarella, well, the family size ravioli, and I decided just to get the regular mozzarella cheese ones. Um, and then I got a whole chicken. I love making me a whole chicken, so I thought about doing that tonight, but I don't, I don't know. We're gonna, we'll see. I might just put this in the freezer for now. I'm, I don't know how, like, What's the word I'm looking for right now? I'm friggin' out of sorts right now. I need like a cup of coffee or something. So the bag I forgot, by the way. All right, so for my lunch today, I bought another salad from the salad bar. Love it. And then I got just a bunch of things from the like wing bar. So I got two onion rings, three jalapeno poppers, putting it on a sheet pan right now because I'm going to bake them up to get them hot again. And then I bought some wings. If I can open them. Open! Okay, I got some regular boneless wings, buffalo boneless wings, and then there's some just plain regular wings on there as well. Um, yeah, that would be just be a nice lunch today. Probably also why I spent a lot of money. Pretty sure like between the wings and the salad, Probably about $10 lunch, but oh well, whatever. I had a dollar off coupon for these wings. I thought that'd be good for dinner one night. Uh, I got these stuffed chicken breasts. These are broccoli and cheddar, so I thought that'd be a good dinner option one night. Got some lean ground beef. This is 96% lean, 4% fat. I got this Cabot Everything Bagel Cheese. I've heard really good things about it. I got the, I got a package of the Plainville Farms ground turkey. There was a dollar off coupon on that. And got some Eggland's Best Vegetarian Fed Eggs. Turkey pepperoni for a recipe I want to do. I think I'm going to do that tonight actually. And while I'm at it, I'm going to take out my zucchini spirals. I got some ground, um, not ground, I got some deli turkey. Figured I would switch it up this week. These are on sale and I've never really had Canadian bacon before so I thought this would be good. I'm always just looking for another like breakfast option. Um, these chicken drumsticks were four bucks. These were only, these were on sale for only like a dollar twenty nine. These are the banquet brown and serve light original sausage links. They are 50% less fat and 35% fewer calories. So fresh chicken thighs were a good price and so were these um, skinless thinly sliced chicken breasts. And then these were, these Hillshire Farm smoked sausage were two for five dollars and then I had a dollar off coupon so pretty good deal. So that's everything for this grocery haul. I'm going to put all this stuff away, bake up my lunch, eat my lunch, bring in my laundry, put it away, make the bed because I clean my sheets. And then I might allow myself to sit for a little bit before I force myself to work out, take a shower, and then I still have to clean. I decided that while my oven's heating up, I should show you guys what I got from TV Max. So I only spent $25, but I got a bag for my friend because she's having a baby, so this is the gift bag I'm going to use. And then I got a new dish drainer because I've always hated mine because it doesn't have something for silverware, so... Um, so, I wanted to get a new one. Hopefully this will fit my sink, but I don't see why it wouldn't. And then these leggings were on clearance for three bucks, so I figured I'd give them a shot. 
And then these salt and pepper shakers were on clearance for two bucks. And I've discovered that my salt and pepper shakers on the inside of like the cap, um, it's like starting to rust. So wanted to get some new ones. And then these Sanders Mini Bites Dark Chocolate Peppermint Patties. So fucking good, you guys. Oh my God, these are delicious. So I got two packages of those. And that's what I got from TJ Maxx. So I'm about to work out. So I was gonna show you what I usually do. So I have a workout um, playlist. It is private. If you guys want me to make it public, um, I can. It's other people's videos, obviously. Like these are the workouts. I save if I want to try them or whatever. Um, my favorite workouts are from the Pop Sugar Fitness YouTube channel, which are like these videos right here. And my favorite workouts are by Jeanette Jenkins. She is just, she has such a good personality. I feel like she's really good at making you motivated. And this one right here is my all time favorite. This one, it's called Burn 600 Calories in a 60 Minute Workout. If you want to search that, it will come up and it will say with Jeanette Jenkins. So I'm going to put this on, do this for an hour, and then I'll see how I'm feeling. I might do a strength training workout with some weights afterwards. It just depends how I'm feeling. But yeah, I'm going to work out now. Out. As you can see, face is red, dripping sweat. Ugh. Oh, I love that workout though. It like tones everything. So that's it, you guys. You guys don't have to like, you don't have to pay money for a gym if you don't want to. You can do all these workouts at home um, as long as you have the space to do it. But as you guys saw, I have like no space for workouts in my apartment. I just do it with the little tiny like. I would say like two foot square I have in my bedroom and all you have to do is start you don't even have to like I think people have this weird stigma that they don't they don't need to work out because they don't want to lose weight I am doing a diet bet so I have to lose weight well I don't have to but if I want my money back I do but after that I'm I don't know if I'm really gonna continue necessarily like um, trying or like trying to lose weight quickly I think I'm just going to keep like working out, eating better, and working out like five days a week and seeing if that just makes a difference because I don't really care about how I look. It's more of my health. So you can start. All you have to do is go to YouTube, type in Pop Sugar Fit Fitness, and do a workout. And you don't have to do the burn 600 calories one. The reason why I do it is because I started one night when I ate something really unhealthy and I was like, well, solid, it burned 600 calories and I just have loved it ever since. But there are so many good workouts. I would suggest also if you are someone who can't really do floor exercises, I can't really. So usually what I do is I just skip it. I kind of just like watch and then I join in again um, later when they're not doing the floor exercises. But I would suggest checking out on Pop Sugar Fitness's YouTube channel the hip hop Tabata workout. That one is really good. I feel like it's beginner friendly and you don't have to get on the floor at all. So um, it's a really good one and it's only 30 minutes. It's not an hour so you just have to give them 30 minutes of your time. If you want to do a strength training workout after that with your weights then go for it after that whatever. But I just I think that there's this weird stigma that you know you have to you can only work out if you want to lose weight. That's not the thing. And that's not why a lot of people go to the gym. Because um, I'm doing it, A, for weight loss a little bit. But also because I really want to start toning up parts of my body. I would love to start toning up my booty. My booty is really flat. So, yeah. But anyways. I'm going to go now. I got to shower. And then clean my house. Okay, so I didn't feel like cooking and my zucchini noodles weren't thought out, so I'm going to have one of these egg witches. Um, I have three slices of cheddar cheese, the salad that I got today, but I actually ended up not eating it. And then I'm going to eat this Lara bar. Got my water. going to watch some YouTube, and I'm going to carry this into tomorrow. 
So I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning. It is 5.30. No, it's not. It's like 5.45 in the morning. So the next day, it's Saturday. And I am about to work out. So I have my little Chobani drink and got some water. Totally broke my ice cube tray. Like literally, I have like one of those weird... It's like the ice cube tray with like the silicone thing so you can be able to like push it up. But they don't work, okay? So I have to like literally flip it upside down and like take something hard and like pound on the ice to get it into the cup. Um, so I broke it. So I'm gonna have to get something different anyways. I hate those friggin' ice cube trays. But it is early in the morning and I only have till 7.30ish. Well, I have to be at work at 8, so whatever. Um, but I knew that I wouldn't have time to work out this afternoon before coming home and getting ready and going on my date because the date is on. Um, so I needed to find the time because I could have pushed off today and just said I only worked out four days a week because four days a week is still pretty good, especially if you're someone who does not work out like me. I didn't work out for over a year um, before I started working out, but it's the fact that my goals are five days a week, and if I have to get up an extra half an hour to get a 30-minute workout in, then I'm going to do that, and then I will just wash my face. It, the easy thing is, is that today I'm not working, wearing makeup to work because of the fact I'm going to come home and put on makeup for tonight, so, um, I, I real, that kind of also, like, adds on more time because, you know, putting on makeup, I would say probably takes me anywhere between 10 and 15, um, 15 minutes, sometimes 20 minutes, just depends how slow I am, how ambitious I am, and if I already have a look in mind or something. Um, but yeah, so you just gotta find the time, you guys. Like, it doesn't, I, I am someone who always say, oh, I don't have time to do things. Oh, I don't have time to do this. Oh, I don't have time to do that. But at the end of the day, I know I'm just making excuses for myself, um, especially when it comes to like YouTube, workouts, and all of that. Um, I know that I do have time. It's just the fact that I don't want to make the time. So I'm trying my best to start working on that more in terms of working out, in terms of my YouTube channel, and all that. So yeah, but I'm going to drink this, drink some water, put on a workout video. My back kind of hurts. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I wanted to do some strength training, so maybe we'll see. Um, maybe I'll just find a stretching one first and then do a strength training. So talk to you guys later. Okay, so I'm at the post office before work because post office closes early on Saturday. So I got my Amazon package. And I got new Fitbit bands. These ones are going to be just like the like original Fitbit, Fitbit brand uh, bands. So I'm going to try these out. If these give me hives too. Then I'm going to have to just either try to buy actual Fitbit band Fitbit branded bands. Oh my god. Or I don't know what to do. But I need like my Fitbit keeps me on track. So I need to wear it. Then, um, it said I was going to get my letter from Kristen, but informed delivery is weird. Like, it will show me what I'm going to have in my box, but it's going to show me what I'm going to have in my box later. And they're usually done with sorting the mail at 9, but I'm at work at 9, and then they close at 11. So, anyways, so I got my friend, the one who's having a baby in March, um, this. outfit that has Jack Skellington on it and then it comes with little shorts she doesn't know the gender yes this kind of looks like a boy outfit but um it doesn't have to be and also she loves Nightmare Before Christmas so why wouldn't when I saw that I just knew I had to get it for her so I'm pretty sure I'm done shopping for her because I'm spending a lot of money on this baby shower, so I think that her gifts are done. And now I'm going to... 
Uh, my group chat, we are hilarious, my family in our group chat. My sister's telling us she's eating these, this fiber cereal called Heritage Flakes, and my dad just said, Heritage Flakes looks like, no, Heritage Flakes sounds like it's the dried up, what did he say? He said, Heritage Flakes are the freeze dried remains of your ancestors. We are a funny group. Um, yeah, I think I'm done shopping for her, and then... Kristen is gonna find out hopefully the gender of her baby soon and then when she tells me what it's gonna be I can start shopping. I can start shopping for it now but it's also more so um, rent comes out next week so after that but the good thing about Kristen is that she's due in May so like I have the friend who's due in March and that's coming up very quickly and but Kristen's due in May, so I have more time with her, which is great because I want to try to find, like, I want to try to find, like, because I live in Maine, I live far away, I want to try to find, like, personalized stuff. Like, um, one thing I'm getting her, giving her is a book that's called Goodnight Maine instead of Goodnight Moon. Um, but yeah. I'm going to go to work now at 7.45. I'm a swing today, which means I have to basically go back and forth between being a cook and being a barista. And then I get out at three. If it's slow enough, I'll be able to leave early. Then I gotta go home, do my hair and makeup, do a body shower that's gonna come before the hair and makeup, order pizza from somewhere, cause I'm bringing pizza to him. And then I gotta go get the pizza, gas up my car, go to him. Um, because he lives like 45 minutes away from me, so I have to, I'm going to be driving to him. Um, and then I'm going on a date. I'm so nervous. I'm not one that's into meeting people in person that I meet online. Yeah. But he is someone I have been talking to for quite a while now, and he's very respectful of me and my, like, abstinence and all that, so... I want to give this a shot and you know it's a date like if I go in and I end up not liking him then so be it so I'm very nervous about it so I'm gonna try not to dwell upon it today or else my anxiety will get the best of me and yeah so I'm gonna head to work and I'll talk to you guys when I get out so outfit for tonight I'm having this nope wearing this hoodie that I got from Stitch Fix pair of leggings toward boots Gotta quickly put on some deodorant and some perfume, text my friend, and then I'm going. So I gotta go, I gotta go. Good morning. It is now Sunday and I am getting ready for work. Um, did, I got back pretty late last night, about 11ish. So I, um, I'm not putting on makeup today. It's actually a little bit past seven left to be there at eight. So I gotta like actually get going here. Um, I've been kind of slacking on the getting ready but I am tired today you guys so I had a really good time last night again it, I, I really don't want to call it a date we were just hanging out and we watched Bob's Burgers and just enjoyed each other's company um but nothing happened um so just want to put it out there nothing happened uh but he is a really nice guy so I think I'm definitely gonna hang out with him again um he said next time he actually wants to take me somewhere but I I was the one that said like I just want to hang out I don't really want to go anywhere because um I knew I had been I would would have been working um so yeah so everything turned out fine I got there a little bit past six um and he was a perfect gentleman he wanted me to text him when I got there so he could come out and walk me to and from my car because he wanted to make sure I was safe uh, and it just it was it was a nice night so um, yeah I definitely think I'm gonna go out with him again and yeah just wanted to update you guys on that and just so you guys know because I know I'm gonna get the comments about the fact that I just went to his house um, there are a lot of reasons why I decided that I was going to do that a um, I don't really care about going to people's houses. I know for me personally, if I were to tell you guys about online dating, I would advise you to meet at a public place. But for me personally, um, I had been talking to him 
I've been talking to him before we met last night. I've been talking to him for like over a month. And, you know, for me, it was more so that I just felt safe going there. You know, I didn't feel uncomfortable. Um, you know, I've had a really bad record with meeting guys online. Um, I was sexually assaulted by someone I met online. I met, I, I met, I have a whole... Someone asked me to do a get ready with me story time about bad dates and I have one ready to tell you guys. So anyways, um, yeah, so it's, a. Uh, I I know that that in general, that's going to be a bad idea. And I'm going to admit to my sister tonight, cause I actually fibbed a little because she said you were meeting in a public place, right? And I just didn't want to hear the lecture. So I said, yes. But we're going to have to tell her tonight that I lied. Because this is going to go up, so she's going to see anyways. But I know that, in general, that's not something you should do. Um, but for me personally, it was a decision that I just made off of the fact that I just felt safe. And it's my life. And if I had any sort of doubt at that that last night, I, would, I wouldn't have gone. Um, but I felt safe. And... Um, really allowed to say I just I know that I'm gonna get the comments about meeting him at his house or like all that and I just I don't want anyone judging me um because like I said my life um but yeah I really need to get ready for work so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna go to work then tonight I'm going to uh an event with my friends it's just a it's like a french fry event at a restaurant they're doing all sorts of kinds of french fries. They're doing poutine and buffalo chicken fries and um, all like pulled pork ones. And then there was one more. I don't remember. Oh, I don't remember. But it's going to be like this huge french fry day. So, yeah. I'm really excited about that. Um, me and my friend who's pregnant is going to go. And I think our other friend. But I know that her and I are going at least. So, yeah, I, if I remember, I'll try to like vlog a little bit of the f food, but I can't promise, but I will check back in with you guys after work. Hey guys, so it is Friday, uh, February 1st, and it's been a while since I pulled out the camera. Um, I believe the last time I vlogged was the day after my date. Anyways, so... Um, really not too much to update on that, except that we did... Uh, hang out again and then I'm going to go bowling with him on Monday and I believe I'm spending the night at this house but not that kind of spending the night um, like we're not gonna be doing anything we both agreed like it's gonna be PG and um, yeah so uh, but he lives an hour away so it's really is kind of easier it really is kind of easier for me because he lives an hour away that, uh, ugh, sorry, my ex-boyfriend follows me on Instagram so every time he lo likes my shit then I have to roll my eyes. And the reason why I don't block him is because I want him to see that I'm doing just fucking fine without him. Pettiness aside, um, I'm about to go grocery shopping because I need some veggies in my house and that's really all I need actually is just some veggies maybe some I have hazelnut milk I got from Target and it's okay but I don't think I would want to cook with it so I think I want to get some like um, just like some unsweetened almond milk to use in recipes and uh, then I need to go do laundry the only I think I'm gonna bring in my laundry soap because it's been in my car and I'm pretty sure it's frozen so I might bring it in and then go grocery shopping, come home, put it away, eat lunch, and then go do laundry. Um, because my next day off, I'll be at the man's house. And, uh, yeah. So, in terms of the new man-friend situation, um, we very much care about each other. We very much like each other. I think we're going to kind of make it official pretty soon. Like, say that we're officially dating which makes me really happy but also kind of nervous having had a boyfriend in eight years like a real boyfriend not a snapchat boyfriend that ghosts you for a weekend 
I don't count that as a relationship, so I don't even call him anything anymore, except I did just call my ex-boyfriend, didn't I? Anyways, so yeah, so I just figured, like, I almost was going to delete all my vlog footage, and I was like, you know what, let's just vlog today, and then make this like a random, like, hey, this is the span out of like two weeks, basically. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to grab my grocery list, kind of fill it out more, because I do need to like, actually make sure I'm buying stuff I need, and then um, go to Hannaford, maybe Walmart, uh, it all depends. If I can find everything at Hannaford, I really need some ice cube trays. I wonder if they would have them at Hannaford. If so, I'm gonna, just gonna buy them there. And like feminine stuff, like um, like feminine wipes and feminine products. Uh, so if I can get those stuff at Hannaford, then I will, and then just not go to Walmart, cause I fucking hate Walmart. I also wanna get some, some sort of like card stock, because uh, for Valentine's Day, for the new man friend, I'm going, I don't know what to call him because he's not really my boyfriend, so I'm just going to say my man friend for now. Um, I'm going to make like homemade coupons that will be like date night or like video game night or like, I don't know, stuff like that. Just because we haven't, even if we start dating, by the time Valentine's Day comes around, we won't be dating that long. So like, I pretty much told him like, please don't like buy me anything because... A, I hate it when people buy me stuff, but be like, we're not even been dating that long. So like, you know. Um, so yeah, and then when I get home, I really would like to clean my house a little bit. I would really like to vacuum my bedroom, sweep the kitchen floor, uh, do my dishes, slightly clean the bathroom, if anything, just clean the shower. And then I want to do a little bit of meal prep. So if I do, maybe I'll just insert that in here instead of doing a meal prepping video. And yeah, and I don't know what I'm gonna do for lunch. For dinner, I'm going to make these broccoli and cheddar stuffed chicken breasts. I think they're gonna be really good. And I have some sweet potatoes and I also have some regular potatoes. So I'm just gonna decide which ones I want to make and then roast those. Um, and then I'm gonna get like salad fixings, I believe, so. Okay, so, got back from Hannaford, stupidly spent my cash. I wasn't thinking, and then when I was leaving, I was like, why did I do that if I'm going to go do laundry? I could wait till tomorrow or Sunday to do it. I just need to do it before um, Monday, so. Um, but I am back home now, so I thought I would show you what I got. I got a Mrs. Myers dish soap. This is the honeysuckle scent. I thought it smelled pretty good. Like a nice spring scent. I don't really need dish soap yet, but it was on sale, so I figured I'd get it. My Dawn is getting kind of low, and I want to start using more natural products. I got a Powerade. Usually one of these can last me quite a while. Like, I won't drink this all in one sitting, but they were on sale, so I decided to get one. thought I could drink it after a workout or something. I got two Hint waters. You guys know I love Hint. I got five bananas. I've been really wanting to try out making like when you like take a tortilla and you do like peanut butter and sliced bananas. I think I'm going to do that with my almond butter. I got three jalapenos. They were on sale and I just like them. So, um, and then I got a package of baby spinach because I love spinach. Mini Pop was on sale and I love this when I want like a salty snack. Um, so I decided to try the salt, sea salt and pepper flavor. I like the regular kind, usually. Um, I also want to try these. These are dill pickle cashews. Uh, I love dill pickle flavored stuff. So I figured I'd try this. And I love cashews, so. They did have ice cube trays, so excited about that. These were on sale. These are the Skippy peanut butter bites. These are the pretzel flavor. Uh, it's 160 calories for 15 pieces. Um, that would be good for like a little, um, I don't know, like like a good sweet treat or something. Uh, I got feminine wipes, which is what I needed. And they did have like cardstock and construction paper, but 
honestly like I don't need like a ton and so I saw that these blank index cards were only 89 cents and then these labels that you just stick on are uh, were 99 cents so I thought I could just somehow make them with these and then I have like colorful color colorful sharpies I can use for them to make them a little bit pretty odds are I mean he's a man he's not really gonna give a shit what it fits like super decorated so there you go so let me put this up away and I'll show you the rest don't worry you guys I still used a usable shopping bag just sometimes it's not enough so I got these things for my lunch today um, I don't know if I'll eat both of these I might just eat one and see how I feel but uh, I got this um, chicken solva so vlocky oh my god it's two chicken skewers over yellow rice with a side of tzatziki and fresh mixed fresh vegetable and um, this is it says it was 340 calories for the uh, container and then these are from a brand called bento sushi and these are pork gyoza dumplings so I decided to try those and these are 150 calories so I wanted to have those for lunch uh, Brussels sprouts for two for five dollars for these I've been really wanting I figured I could roast these I'm not a huge fan of Brussels sprouts but like I, I'll eat them um, but I also been wanting to make uh, egg roll in a bowl or something but I never think to buy like coleslaw mix which is what you need to make it I also have ground pork but I have ground turkey so I might see if I can make it with that um, but I figured I could even put these in my food processor and then use these for um, like the egg roll in a bowl like maybe use this with some cauliflower rice and then kind of just make it up on my own I got cherry tomatoes and cucumbers one of my meals this week I'm going to be making tortellini salad so I need those for that. Um, okay. I got this for my dinner tonight to go with those chicken breasts. This is the light Caesar salad mix from Fresh Express. It says it is um, 90 calories per serving or 250 calories for the whole bag. Let me tell you, there were nights that I used to actually eat a whole bag of salad as my dinner. Uh, these I've never tried before. These are golden berries from Sunbell. They say they're tangy, tropical, and sweet. Figured I'd try those. Strawberries were on sale. I've been really digging uh, like berries with whipped cream as like a um, like a healthy dessert, I guess. It's been like really good. And uh, these I thought were interesting. These are from Briars, and these are mini uh they're called mini pints and they're 70 calories per uh little pint and there's four of them in here so i want to try those and then every time i go grocery shopping i want to try a new flavor of halo top so this week i'm trying the pancakes and waffles flavor and i got two zucchini you guys know zucchini is like my favorite food and I got some unsweetened almond milk and impulse buy these were on sale little tiny things of diet Pepsi um, I don't really like to drink diet soda I don't really do it that often but every once in a while I allow myself to have it so that's everything that I got from the grocery store also went to Dunkin and got an iced vanilla latte with skim milk it's pretty good I don't love Dunkin's sweetened vanilla syrup the unsweetened is very good um so maybe next time i'll just try it with the unsweetened um i just wanted to treat myself a little bit uh as like a i don't know i guess like as a celebratory thing that i lost weight i guess which makes no sense why i would celebrate with sugar that's not good for you but whatever um so i'm gonna put all this stuff away heat up my little meals and then eat it I don't I still don't know about the laundromat I could just go to the um, ATM and take out 20 bucks and then just use the 20 bucks to do laundry um, I'm just so annoyed that I used I because I go through self-checkout so when I go through self-checkout 
I always put in like literally whatever cash, even if it's only like four bucks, I'll put whatever cash and whatever coins. Like I will empty out my coin and put every little coin I have in my wallet in the self-checkout because then it at least shaves off something that I'm, so that way I can, like when I go to use my debit card, I'm not taking so much out of my account. I know that doesn't really make any sense, but to me it does. Um, so yeah, I gotta put all this stuff away and then eat some food maybe go do laundry I guess we'll just see maybe I'll work out first then go I don't really know um, I guess or I could go and then have my workout be that I walk laps while my laundry is going but yeah I'll uh, talk to you guys in a little bit okay so it's now quarter of three um, I came home oh I already showed you my grocery haul didn't I so I had lunch um, both meals were pretty good I didn't really eat the rice with the chicken dish, just fine, less calories. And then um, watched the two episodes of Good Trouble. I had to catch up on Good Trouble is that uh, spinoff from the Fosters. It's pretty good, actually. Um, and then I was gonna take a nap, but then I decided no, because you know what? You're gonna put off laundry and then you're gonna regret not doing it and then you're gonna have there's gonna be some reason why you won't have time or like the laundromat will be closed by the time you can do it and then Monday will come and you don't have clothes to go to man friend's house so I was like you know what I'm just gonna do it so I'm actually gonna go get my tips from work and then I'll check the mail while I'm there since the post office is right across the street and then I'll go do laundry come home by the time this is all said and done it'll be about dinner time and then I'll come home cook dinner do my workout because today I'm not doing any cardio only because well I guess we'll see how I'm feeling but I am doing the uh, Beth Alexander fitness on Instagram uh, she is doing a 21 day booty boot camp which is what I'm doing right now and today's day three um, they're really simple tasks but my thighs and butt burns in a sore all the time now um, which is a good thing it means that it's working right so I'm trying to um, so usually what I do is I do that with another workout so I guess it's gonna depend how I'm feeling but I'm kind of thinking I'll just do I have a I do a video called like 12 minute um, arms like toning the arms workout and it's just with like five pound dumbbells so I might do that and then do that one and call it good and then tomorrow morning maybe do some morning cardio um, I guess I didn't realize I know that diet bet ends tomorrow but I didn't realize you don't wait do your official way until Sunday or Monday so I basically have to be good <laughs> until those days um, which is fine I think I will still make it I'm feeling a lot more positive now so yeah, so I'm going to head to work and get my tips so I can go do laundry and then I'll see you guys when I get home. Alright, I'm going to try to talk and drive, which this never works out. I really need to get a windshield mount, but I want to get my car washed, but not today. I just went to get my tips and I'm just kind of annoyed. And I kind of, I feel like I was kind of snippy, but one of my coworkers, who's my friend was like where are you coming from and I went my house she goes oh you look like you're coming from somewhere suspicious and I'm like I'm I'm not and she goes oh she goes I mean it kind of looks like you just got out of bed and I went I mean I've been in bed basically all day which I'm also like what the fuck does that mean but basically she was just implying that she thinks I was at the man friend's house doing inappropriate things and that I just came here to like coming from his house and I'm like no I'm staying at his house on Monday but nothing's gonna happen on Monday like and I just she's also the person that like when I told them that him and I weren't gonna hook up the first time we met she was like wait what and I guess, like, it's annoying to me because she's also one of the people that I've told about my sexual assault. So I just get 
annoyed that people assume like I hate that I like will say like well no I'm gonna spend the night at this house on Monday and everyone's like ooh scandalous and I'm like but it doesn't it's not it doesn't have to be and he him and I have a very mutual understanding of where I'm at with sex and hooking up and he actually has kind of the same views like he said he has not done things in like a year or so and like I don't really want to talk about him and his stuff because it's his business and quite frankly like I don't know how th where things are going between us like right now we're just trying to take it slow and some people think that maybe spending the night at his house isn't taking it slow but like we're not doing anything like I'm literally sleeping at his house because I live an hour away and it's easier than for me to leave at 11 o'clock at night and not get home till midnight and like he knows that I'm not there yet and that you know in order for me to feel comfortable with us doing stuff like that we have to be more serious than what we are now which is just like we have been talking for a very long time like we've been talking for a good month or so now and um so like and that was before we even met and then now we've hung out a couple of times and all of a sudden people are thinking I'm moving too fast or like how him and I are already serious and it's just like I, this is my first adult relationship, if it's going to be a relationship, and like, I can't, it's so annoying having people in my head, because it's like, this isn't, like, but, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it, and I know that, like, I'm also PMSing, so that's also why I'm annoyed right now, but, I don't want to walk into work and have people being all like, Where'd you just come from? Or what did you do? Like, first of all, even if I did, none of their fucking business. And two, like, I wish people would understand I'm just not that kind of girl. So, like, I don't know. I'm just annoyed. So, now I'm going to go to the post office. I got my cash. I'm going to go laundromat. Do laundry. And my phone is running out of memory. So, I'm not really going to be able to vlog much more um, before I can go home and upload it so I'll just talk to you guys when I get home so I've totally forgot to vlog my dinner but it was pretty good chicken breasts I probably wouldn't buy again um I don't know they're they just come out like kind of tough when they're stuffed that way but I'll eat the other one and um but I will tell you right now this halo top this is pretty good this almost tastes it tastes like pancakes and waffles with maple syrup like that's literally what it tastes like but also tastes like when you just have like vanilla ice cream and you put maple syrup on it please tell me you've tried that before because it is so good if you haven't actually better yet chocolate ice cream with maple syrup on it is my favorite thing in the world but I am gonna end this vlog here just cuz I <clears throat> spread it out too much so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Whew. Please subscribe. If you haven't already, you can just go ahead and click that little red thing. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.